Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash surviving infidelity where OP's wife left him and their baby. Let's begin. I caught my wife cheating so I'm divorcing her. Posted by reddit user warm wasabi. So I caught my wife cheating on me with a work colleague. I never saw it coming. It has absolutely devastated me. I gave my heart and soul to this woman, I felt like she was soul mate, and now I feel like was just tossed aside after 10 years of marriage. My wife was someone to me who had courage, strength and integrity, or so I thought. These values are what really attracted me to her, and now I don't think I even know this person anymore. She completely denies cheating or the affair, and it hurts that she can't be honest with me. I gave up so much to be with her, I moved to a new continent to be with her. Gave up my career, my family, friends, and now I am all alone in a foreign country. <laughs> One could say maybe it was something that I did, but I was a really good husband, loving and caring. Her family had major issues, and I would help out where I could to support both her family and her. I encouraged her to further her education, I put her through college and beauty school to encourage her talents. Most of all though I just loved her. I cared for her well-being. When she had bad days at work, family, I was there to support her. I trusted her completely. I wasn't a perfect husband, but I did my best. I never screamed, shouted, abused her in any way, shape, or form, never stepped out on her either. I came from a broken home, and my father was the worst person to me and my mom. So I made it my life's mission to be better, and nothing like him. The last six months in our relationship have been rough. I could feel her pushing me out of her life, she never had time for me, and was never home, out with her friends, or some event that I wasn't invited to, work trips. I was working five days a week, doing the chores around the house where I could, just so we could spend more time with one another. Eventually I had a breakdown and said I think we should see couples counseling. She turned the entire thing on me, about my insecurity, lied about events, and gaslighted me to the point where I was doubting myself. I took it in my stride and saw a therapist. She went on a work trip a few weeks after the counseling, and a week later I found evidence of an affair. Called a private eye to get me some more information. Not what I needed to confirm everything. So we have applied for a divorce, I just want to get on with my life. But where to from here? I feel I could never love anyone the same way, I feel jaded by the whole thing. And all I have are questions that I want answered. How long has this been going on? Were there others? What made her do it? What changed the way she saw me? Why, I wouldn't wish this feeling upon anyone, not even my worst enemies. This is a scar so deep. I'm at the stage where I'm trying to move on. Moving to my own place. But where to from there? I'm going to throw myself back into hobbies that I once did before I got married, and exercising, and going out to meet people because I have no one here. She was my world. But what's next? How do I love again? How do I go about moving on without hurting someone who cares for me because I couldn't let go of this pain? How have others recovered? I resolved to never take her back, cutting off communication after the divorce to her and her family. Life is too short to be with a liar and a cheat. Advice for anyone, look at your accounts weekly, keep a diary of you and your partner's daily plans. It's all there, but sometimes we are just naive in our trust. Thanks for reading. Edit, I just want to thank everyone for the love and support. The way I have felt until today is lost and completely alone, and now I know I am not. You all have really saved me. And then, Reddit user World Classer added this in the comments. I wasn't married but caught my ex in the act. I was shocked and my only question was why, didn't even notice the guy or care about him. All she could say was gaslight me about how things have been bad in relationship lately and how it's my fault she ended up cheating. Picked my stuff and left. Never looked back. The next relationships was pretty bad because of constant paranoia about being cheated on and had doubts where there was no reason. I ended things to sort out my head. I have been dating this girl for a few months and have totally fallen for her. She has been honest with me about her ex reaching out to her etc. It was very hard for me to take and not to start growing doubts again. But now I have sorted my mind and the only advice I can give to you for the next, and there will be a next relationship. Leave all this shit in the past and try your best to start from scratch trusting people. Being cheated on can be a lesson, but for me it was a curse. P.S. It took me a year to get back to decent self-esteem, but working out and focusing on yourself, career and hobbies, did the magic. And also, time. My wife of 12 years cheated on me and then moved out. 
posted by Reddit user Responsible Peace. My wife of 12 years started an affair with a colleague less than a year after our child was born. I caught them chatting by pure accident, confronted her and was blamed that it was my fault since I didn't pay her any attention since the child came. It's not that I have not paid attention. I noticed she was emotional, stressed and burdened by things around her and at work. So I stopped asking things from her, like being intimate or helping around the child or house. I shouldered it all so she could rest, since I thought that was what she needed. Knowing what I know now, she was probably looking for a way to break up and or spend more time with her affair partner. She said she would give us a chance and stop talking with him. I believed her and about a year went until she said no, I can't anymore. I knew she was still talking with her affair partner, found messages etc. So she looked for an apartment and found one and moved out August last year. I helped her move, but she still spent a lot of time with me and our child until she decided in January of this year to move for real into her apartment. She said she needed to do this to find herself and to figure out what she wanted in life. I have read enough stories here to know what that means, don't have any real proof but I am very certain what she has been doing. I decided to make myself busy with other things, working out and attending work events etc. to try to focus on myself. However, I missed our family regardless during all this time. I still do, but I would never admit that to her. I told my wife in the beginning, I will never come asking you for anything and it all comes down to you if you want to commit to our family and solve this. But by the time that happens there is no guarantee that I am interested in fixing it. Time goes by and we sometimes on weekends do something together with our child. I get vibes that she is regretting and wants to fix things. But she never admits to it. But somehow I get the feeling it will be fine. Until last week when I again by mistake saw that she was chatting with her affair partner and declaring I love you to each other. That's when I decided enough already. I talked with her that evening and said I won't put up with this anymore. You are married and have a boyfriend at the same time. Let's just sign the divorce papers and be over with it. After a lot of talk and crying from her side, she signed it. I asked her no communications unless it's regarding our child. It's been barely a week since we signed the papers. But she writes to me short sentences about our child now and then. I am devastated since I probably had built up the expectations we would reconcile. But here we are. I am sad and down for the most part. I try to occupy my mind to not think. But it's just so hard. I want my family, but I hate what she has become and done to us. Sorry for bad formatting, I wrote on the phone. And then, we have this common exchange between OP and other Reddit users. Grey Rock and 180 going forward. You were allowing Hopium to rule your life, that she would be back. Now you have clear closure that y'all would never be a healthy and happy couple again. Use this info to move forward in your life and begin the healing that you've put off for a year. You realize how despicable she is, right? It's been at least two years of cheating and lying to you. Don't be her friend. Co-parent only with very minimal contact and focus forward on your life. You need to start prioritizing your feelings and emotions. Yes, I felt empowered to drop the divorce papers on her and getting them signed. I felt in control for the first time since this all began. I started cleaning out my apartment from things she had put thought into decorate and put up new things etc. It felt good, even if insignificant. I am doing my best to answer as little as possible to her messages, about our child only of course. But it all hurts doing this to what has been for such a long time my best friend and support in life. Doing 180 I think I will be able to handle, but grey rocking will probably be a lot harder since I am not cold as a person. But I want to achieve it. The silence between us really hurts though. The goal is to become indifferent. The opposite of love is not hate, but indifference, Godspeed. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.